Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Telnet. We are looking at an office building with three floors, and there are routers on each floor. The network administrator is on the first floor, but he wants to access the router on the third floor. He can go up to the third floor and connect his console cable to the router, but he realized that it would be easier for him to connect the console cable to the router on the first floor and use the Telnet protocol to remotely access the router on the third floor. Remote access is a wonderful way to monitor or configure a router that is far away or difficult to access. Let's look at the commands needed to access a router using the network interface. In order to start the session with the remote router, you will have to type the telnet command into the router on the first floor. To access the privilege mode of the router by using telnet, you will have to set up the password on it using the enable secret command. To allow access to a router by using Telnet, you will have to set up a password on it using the login and password commands. We are looking at the terminal window of the router on the first floor. Let's try to access the router on the third floor using the Telnet command. As you can see, it tells us that a password is needed to make the connection. Now, let's view the terminal window of the router on the third floor using a very long console cord. Notice when we attempt to open the VTY lines, it disables the lines until a password is set on them, so I will set the password. Now, let's go back to the router on the first floor and try to log in. We are able to log into the router. When we try to go into the privilege mode, we are blocked because a password is not set up for the privilege mode. We are now going to set up a password in the router on the third floor. Now, when we go back to the router on the first floor, we are able to access the privilege mode in the router on the third floor through the router on the first floor. But then, the network administrator realized that there is a more simpler way to access the router on the third floor. He is able to telnet to the router using his desktop computer in his office. The computer is not directly connected to any of the routers, but rather to a switch through an Ethernet cord. Let's take a look at what he sees. First, we will use the telnet command to connect to the router on the third floor and then we will put the password to start a session and another password to enter into the privilege mode. As you can see, the command prompt shows that we are in the router on the third floor. We just saw a great way to access remote routers without having to travel to their location. The problem with this method is that everything including passwords are displayed in clear text. Hackers can learn our passwords by sniffing the network. In the next video, we will examine a more secure method for remotely accessing routers through the use of encryption. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.